Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about some really cool and unique transmog sets that you can farm for your plate and cloth characters, as well as over cool transmog items and weapons. And I really want to make this video first of all because right now I'm currently farming these items and I think it's interesting for me to share some tips on how you can get them. But also because I'm sure that many of you are not really aware of these items or maybe you were back in the days and you forgot that they even exist. And so it might be a good reminder for you to try and get your hands on some of them because as you will see, these items are really, really awesome. So all these different sets and transmog items are linked to Legion and in particular they are linked to Argus. Argus was part of the last patch of Legion and it's divided into three main areas. You have Crocoon right here, then you have Eredat, and finally you have the Entoran Wastes. So in these different areas, you can do tons and tons of activities, and you can also kill tons and tons of rares. And one thing that is interesting is the fact that all these different rares, or many of them, will have a chance at dropping some pretty cool mounts. So if you are also missing on some of these mounts, this is definitely a good way to farm them while also trying to get your hands on these overcooled transport items. So one thing that is interesting with Argus is the fact that you have some sets that are really specific to this zone. The first one that I want to talk about is the World Defiler's Plate set. So this is a set that, in my opinion, is absolutely amazing, really, really unique and something that you will be able to use on any of your play characters. And there is no recorded versions of this set in the game. This is something, again, that is completely unique. Then with this set, also, I just want to emphasize that we have another really, really cool weapon that you can use. Then you will basically look like that, which I think is just absolutely awesome. So next to this one that you have for Warriors, I also want to talk about this over one for this time, the different cloth players. So here again, if you go and you have a look, you will have the Zealous Felslanger cloth set, which is also similar to this one. And I think this is another really, really, really cool set. So sadly, for some reasons, you only have these unique sets that are available for plate and cloth characters. There's none of these sets for male and lever. So just something for you to remember. But at least if you're playing any classes that can use plate or cloth armor pieces, you will be able to get some of these really, really cool sets. Next to that, of course, you have a few other sets that are also interesting. So for instance, you have this one right here for cloth players. Definitely not as interesting, but still something that is pretty unique and that you can farm. Then you also have this over-recorded version. Uh, this is this one right here. So these are the different ones that you can get on your cloth characters. But then for your play characters, you will also be able to get these ones right here, which I think are a little bit interesting, a little bit more than the cloth ones at least. So you have this one and then you also have the Shatari defense plate set. So these are really the main ones that I want to talk about in today's video. But of course, next to that, you also have tons and tons of over cool weapons and over sets that you will be able to unlock when doing this farm. And so when it comes to all these weapons, just to show you a few of them. So for instance, here, when you will be killing some of these rares, you will be able to get some of these unique appearances that sometimes are really, really nice. So for instance, here, as you can see, you can have these type of items. And again, many, many, many of the rares that are available all around this map and the three main areas will sometimes drop some of these unique weapons that if you want them, you will only be able to get them by killing these different rares. So this is again something that I think is also worth mentioning because if you are a collector, then it's definitely important for you to note that yes, you will be able to get over things over than this transmog set that I mentioned. And some of these weapons again can be sometimes really, really, really cool. Also, each time you will be killing some of the rares and opening some of the chests, you will be receiving 
some of this currency right here that is linked to Legion. And this is the Veiled Argonite. And what's interesting is that with these different Veiled Argonites, you will then be able at some point to unlock this vendor right here, Gal, who is located just next to me right here. And Gal will be selling some more of these different cosmetic items. So for instance, you have this staff right here that goes really well with the different sets that we're farming. You also have these different maces, this bow that I think is also pretty, pretty cool. And so you have like uh, all these different weapons that you will be able to buy with the different Argonites as well as a few more uh, crafting regents. But of course, in order to buy these different items as well as this toy right here, you will need to first unlock all the different items from Gal. And here you will need to do this uh, quest line, I believe, seeing red. So you will have to do all these different quests. And at some point, you will be able to unlock basically all the different items from Gal. Lastly, you will also receive some gray weapons that can be interesting. So for instance, you will receive a lot of these ones again. This is a completely unique appearance and something you can use as a transmog. So I think this is pretty cool. You also have, for instance, this uh, cloak right here. Nothing crazy here, just another item you can add to your collection. And you will also have a lot of these one edit axes. So all these ones will drop from the different chests. And so normally you will be able to get tons of these different items. And lastly, you will also have some of these different tokens that will allow you to create some pretty cool pieces of armor. And here again, you have these different sets that are available right here. So for instance, for the cloth sets, these are this one right here. For the different plate characters, it will be this one uh, right here. So again, just something that you will probably also be able to get in addition to farming the main sets. So the way you farm these different items is by simply killing some specific rares in the different areas of Argus. And here I really want to insist on the fact that some of the rares will drop these different items, but many others won't. So you only want to kill the ones that can actually drop these different items. And then also by opening all the different chests that are located all around the map, especially the different Legion supplies chest because these have a chance at dropping all the different items. And so this is something that will make it a little bit easier. But remember, all these different items are pretty rare. And so you will definitely need to kill a lot of these different rares and open many, many chests before you are able to get all the different pieces for your entire set. Here, I really want to encourage you to download two add-ons that will make this grind way, way easier. The first one is Rare Scanner. Rare Scanner, as you can see, will let you know where all the different rares are located. And it will also let you know what type of items they will drop. So it makes it way, way easier for you to track all of that. Also, here, if you go on their main menu, you will be able to go, let's say, in this part of the map. And it will tell you for your character which rares can drop which items. And especially, it will also include all the different toys and everything else that you're still missing. So this is something that is very, very useful. And for that reason, I would definitely encourage you to get this one. And then next to that, you also have Gathermate. Gathermate will allow you to see what's inside all the different chests that are around the map. And of course, also to see where the different chests are located. So this is something that, again, will be very useful because sometimes some of these chests might not be really useful, but some of others might. So again, here, as you can see, you will be able with these add-ons to have all this information available on your minimap. So now the way it works is pretty interesting. Basically, for the plate set, you will need to kill the rares that are located in Crocodile. So here you will have Commander Vekaya that will have a chance at dropping all these different items. Then you will have Commander Endaxis that is located not far. And again, will have a chance at dropping the different plate sets. Then you have the Telestra, the Val Rare right here. And finally, you also have Terek, the Selector. So in this main area from the rares, these are all the different items that you will be able to get. Then when you go to this time, the enter and waste here is going to be for the cloth sets. So for instance, you have the Void Warden Valsuran that will have a chance at dropping 
all the different cloth armor pieces right here. Then you also have this one, Mistress Eel Tendra. Then you also have this one, World Splitter Skull, uh, that is located right here. And finally, you will also have Admiral Railbar. And so these are the different rares that will have a chance at dropping the cloth set. And finally, for the last map, the Eredat part of Argus, here it's mainly going to be for all the different weapons. So sadly, the different rares are not really going to drop any of the different interesting sets. So just something for you to remember. Now, the one thing that is very interesting is that while these different rares have very specific loot tables, you will be able normally to get most of these different items from all the different chests in all these different areas. So for instance, here in Eredat, you will be able to get the different oversets that we mentioned through the different treasure chests that are all around the map. And so here, as you can see, you will really have a lot of these from all these different treasure chests. So that's why I always recommend you to pick up these different chests because that's how you will have a chance at getting these really, really cool transmog sets. Then when it comes to Krokun and the Anterum Waste, it's exactly the same here. So as you can see, you will be able to get these different items from the different chests. And sometimes it will also include some of the other items that are normally not specific to your or to this specific map. So for instance, here, if you go to the Enter and Waste, as you can see, you have some of these different treasure chests that will also include some of the different items that normally you can get from Ereda. So for that reason, really, I would encourage you to always try to open the different treasure chests because again, many, many times, this is how you will actually be able to complete your different sets. As you can see, for instance, just a little bit earlier today, while farming for this set, I was able to get the headpiece from one of the different treasure chests. So just something again for you to remember. Now, some very important information for you. First of all, this is something that you can do on a daily basis with your different characters. So it means that for each of your character, you can go and kill these different rares and every day you will have a new chance at getting the different loots. Of course, you need to do it on the character that can actually drop these different items. So for instance, if you want the different plate items, you will need to do it on a plate character. Same with the different cloth items. So just something for you to remember. Lastly, one thing also that is very important for you to remember is the fact that all these different rares are not always up. So sadly, many times you will run around and many of these rares won't be there. So you can either wait for them to spawn or maybe you can just go somewhere else, open more of the different treasure chests and hopefully like that, you will still have a chance at getting some of these items. But again, if you don't see some of the rares, that's normal, it's just because they have a pretty long respawn timer and sometimes they are simply not there. Also, normally when you will approach on your minimap, you will always see these different treasure chests that will appear and also you will see the rares that will have their own icons. So normally it's pretty simple to spot them. And here maybe one tip for you is to try and do it in both war mode on and off. You can, for instance, start with war mode on try to see if the different rares that you're interested in are up or not. And if they're not, you can go back to either Dalaran or to the main part where there is uh, this uh, Vindicar, and then you can remove War Mode On, and then you can go back and check with this time War Mode Off. So this is something that will allow you to have a better chance at actually finding the different rares. Lastly, and this is something I already mentioned at the beginning of the video, but you will have also a chance to kill some of the rares that can drop some mounts. And some of these mounts are really cool. So for instance, you have Blight Mo right here that can drop this mount. Then you also have this other one that can drop the Val Fin. So again, you have already these two mounts right here. Then for instance, if you go in Eredat, here you will have a few more. For instance, this one will drop the Madden uh, Chase Runner, Chaos Runner. Then you have this one right here, the Venom Tail Skyfind that will also drop another mount. Then you have, for instance, these ones right here that will drop these eggs. And inside the eggs, you will be able to get up to four different mounts. And then you also have, let's say, 
I believe it's this one right here, another one of these mounts. So again, I really wanted to make this video because I do think these different sets are really, really cool. And I'm sure many of you were already aware of these sets and probably already have all of them. But I still wanted to cover these two sets in this video because I think they're definitely worth the time. And again, the only thing that you need to remember is that these sets are pretty difficult to obtain because each of the different items have a very low drop chance from the different rares and from the different chests. So again, just be patient while you are farming these different sets. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about these different sets and about this farm in general. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Bye.